Oh, that tastes like shit. Oh, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I told you guys two videos a week. This one's gonna come out on Wednesday. I had some personal stuff that I had to take care of, which is kind of why the video got pushed back, but all that stuff I'll talk to you guys about in the future because I want to be transparent about everything I go through in my life. Starting off with breakfast. I'm gatekeeping these meals till next video. So next video is a full day on recomp. I got a new coach and everything. I'll go into all that later. But yeah, I'm, I'm fucking really happy, man. And I have never been this happy and at peace in, in a very long time. And that decision that I made, you know, switching coaches and, and postponing my show truly feels like it took a hundred pound dumbbell off my chest. So I'm feeling great. Uh, we got a lot of shit to do. We got a back day. I'm going to take you guys to the chiropractor with me today because I genuinely want you guys to like know that there's a lot of fucking benefits to going to a good chiropractor. And I go like twice a week, literally just to maintain, makes me stronger, happier. After we finish this, we're going to hit the grocery store. Like you we're hitting Amazon fresh. I gotta go make mashed potatoes. So I gotta snag these special ones because I low-key grabbed the wrong box last time. And we'll probably hit the gym, hit the chiropractor. I'll explain everything later about why I had to postpone my show. Yo, you guys are gonna be proud of me. So yesterday I cooked my very first steak and mashed potatoes for the first time. I'm really privileged, you know. I had my mom do that shit, but you know what? We're learning, bro. I'm growing up. Two, three years from now, when I'm watching these videos back and I'm still making videos, dude, I'm gonna be looking back and I'm like, holy shit, I was such a bitch for barely learning how to cook a steak at 20 years old. Yo, guys, my younger self would be so proud of me it is 10 30 and i'm going grocery shopping right now for all you guys that sleep until 12 p.m you gotta stop that shit because i used to do that every single day last year actually not last year is even worse i used to wake up and start my day at like a solid 2 p.m Dude, this lady's a fucking retard, bro. I used to wake up and start my day at like a solid 2 p.m., bro, and wouldn't even go to the gym till like 3. Now that I think about that, I was such a lazy bastard. Now I'm waking up at like 9 every single day, 8.30. I'm feeling great, getting a good start to my day. Also, I just remembered, we're going back to Iron Wolf today because like I literally love that gym so much, but I do have to cancel my Apex gym. So right after we get done with the grocery store, I'm going to call these guys and I'm going to be like, yo, I'm done with my membership. It's kind of crazy, dude. They're probably getting there just like opening the gym thinking that they're like gonna get calls for like day passes but like the first thing they're getting called is for a gym cancellation i think we've been here like three videos in a row these guys definitely definitely already know who i am the motherfucker who walks in with a camera every time because i think i only go here when i'm recording dude if i told you how long it took us to find this shit you guys would be so disappointed uh, uh, uh. Four serving for two. Yeah, let's snag like four of these. And then we also gotta get the measuring things for like teaspoons and shit, because I just like to be precise. Yo, should we go pick it like a, a meat thermometer? No, nah, fuck it, we don't need that shit. Just eyeball it. We'll snag one of these though. All right, let's get out of here. Yo, I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok, but I've been posting on there two, three times a day. I talked about what I had immediately after I decided to postpone my prep till October summer shredding. If you haven't watched it there, I'm gonna explain to you guys what I had. So as soon as I made that decision, I think it was right after I finished like meal two or three. Right Right after I made that decision, I called up the homies and I was like, yo, I want you guys to be there. I want you guys to enjoy my first pizza since like March, man. That's how long I've been doing this shit for. We went to Slice Factory, if you guys know what that is. It's like $7 and you get like this one huge ass slice, which is insane. And then you get a side of ranch with that bitch. Got some cheese fries. And then we got crumble for the first time too, which is actually insane. But you know, you're fat as fuck if you eat that shit every day. Like that ass, like that is like 700 calories a cookie, bro. Go have some chicken and rice or some ground turkey. That is a whole meal. And there's really people out here that eat crumble every day, bro. And you can kind of tell, dude, every time I pass by a crumble shop everyone's fat as fuck bro it just looks like clogged arteries and heart problems and then the day after i had to get that burger joint if you got one around you bro those things are so fire that shit was hitting but yeah i'm back on prep now back to strict dieting all my tiktok i'm doing like chipotle rolls i'm gonna go try your guys' shit so go on tiktok and whenever i post those just you know drop your bowl and i will you know i will see if it's good or not but yeah now we gotta call apex cancel our membership hopefully they pick up because i already tried doing this off camera but it didn't go too well Hi, I was wondering if I could uh, cancel my membership. Yeah, you just have to come in during business hours. Is there any way I could do it over the phone or do I have to come in? Nah, man, unfortunately we cannot do it over the phone any longer. Uh, we just need you to come in and we'll be able to take care of it. Alright, thank you so much. No problem. Fuck, dude, what the hell? 
That sucks. All right, so I guess we'll have to go take care of that before we go to Iron Wolf today. We're gonna head back to the crib and then put these in the pantry and then we're gonna go to the chiropractor. Also guys, go add me on Snapchat. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. I post daily on there and I post like more of like what I'm personally doing every single day. Way more than I do on Instagram because Snapchat is just easy for me to just like record and post shit. We've been growing fast on there too. I didn't really have a lot of people on Snapchat before I started like really talking about it. I only had like 1500, but we're almost at 3K. So you, we're growing fast, man. Let me go to the chiropractor. We're pretty much gonna go straight to Apex, cancel my membership, then go to the gym. So we get my pre-ready for you guys right now. You guys know what we're rocking with. Mango Vaniac for pump. Shit, it was the other way around. That was Miami Vice. This is peach pumps. Just one scoop of each. A little bit of Tadetafil on the side. So I get asked all the time, you know, what this shit is. And it's basically, it's literally Cialis. No, it doesn't give you a boner in the gym. Take like five to 10 milligrams. That's what I personally take. It lasts for like 36 hours in your bloodstream. So you don't really need to be taking it every day. It does taste like straight up chemicals. So always wash it down with some pre. Uh, codes I uh, check out save you guys some bread on all this stuff, you know, help support the videos. And also, you guys are seeing this on the new lens, so codes out, check out, goes right into these videos. Love you guys. Also, since I love you guys so much, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away one tub of Miami Vice Pre. I want to give back to you guys, so I'm choosing one comment. Everybody that comments codes out on one of these is one entry, and I'll put you guys all in like one of those random like name generators, and then, you know, I'll pick one of you guys, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll ship you guys this, you know, literally just because I want to give back to you guys, and I'm super grateful that you guys are here and supporting these videos. Now that we just took our Pre, we're going to go hit the chiropractor and I'll pick it up there. Here, this is my chiropractor, Sonny. I'm gonna take you guys through my whole adjustment and then he's gonna explain like what certain things do for my spine. <laughs> Actually, I'll have your head off. Oh, oh my hair's fucked up. Sorry to show the camera that. So with him, the one thing I do, I'm gonna look at the balance of his spine here, right? He should be even, about an inch short on his right here. So I'm gonna go through him or figure out what we're gonna adjust. Lay on your left side. On your stomach. <laughs> That'll help stabilize him for heavy lifting. It'll help not only digestion, and not it helps a lot. So go and lay your back. Straight leg, I'm gonna push down, you kick up. Man, he's already strong to begin with. I'm gonna push down. Feeling good today? It's because I'm actually eating food, I'm not starving. Oh! <laughs> I hope you guys can hear the crack. That shit sounds insane. Lay on this side for me. I'm gonna push down, you push up. Describe you. Not locking well, you feel a little weak, right? Yeah. All right, we'll push down, you push up. Way stronger. All right, it's not about how I'm pushing, right? Yeah. You feel it lock better, right? Mm -hmm. Go and lay in your back. So a chiropractor that focuses on the nervous system is what you need. So for all the people that have never been, uh, never been to a chiropractor before, what would you, what would you tell them? If like, you're gonna see a chiropractor, I'd recommend finding someone who x-rays you, focuses on the nervous system. I'm not a TikTok chiropractor. It's not about the cracks and the pops, right? What you need is you need to find someone to focus on your health. He's, he's not just the only bodybuilder that comes in. We get tons of athletes, professional athletes, so on. But even people just wanna live a little bit better. You perform better, you feel better, you function better. I'm working on how that brain yes. connects with the body. If you get sick, go see a chiropractor, Get adjusted be right back to normal it's time to get ready for the gym we got back today we got two rice cakes and then some honey and salt if you've never tried this pre-workout like snack dude i this is my favorite thing i've ever eaten before the gym i used to stick to like just regular uh, rice krispies and shit but after doing this one time and seeing the pump all you guys need to hop on this shit it's just literally chocolate rice cakes get yourself some nice pink himalayan salt couple couple things each side that shit is so good. Cheers, guys. Just got back. I froze my membership at Apex. Sipping on some free right now. We're going to head over there. It's about a five-minute drive from here. When one of you guys wins the Miami Vice, I hope it's somebody who's never tried it before. You guys are going to love it, bro. Especially if you like pina coladas. Oh, shit. I almost just got into a huge accident. I'm not even going to lie. Now let's get there safely. So the way my split works now is it's chest on Monday, back on Tuesday, and then we got full shoulder day on Wednesday. After that, it's chest, back, arm, shoulders, and then legs. So it's kind of like a bro split mixed into Arnold. But yeah, we're going to start the workout. Cue the montage, fellas.
That was a good-ass back workout. That was my first time ever hitting back, just, just back alone. Those anabars are really calling my name, but I'm not gonna fold. Sticking on prep 100% of the way. Yo, guys, it's a lucky day. We didn't get stopped by any trains today. Like, last video, bro, we literally caught, like, three trains. It was terrible, and I was, like, suffering dead ass, like, with food. But you know what's great about, like, finally being on recomp is that I genuinely, like, I have the energy to, like, you know, do stuff after the gym. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the way I just like talk and the way I act, I hope you guys can see the difference between me with a shit ton of energy and like feeling genuinely happy and like last video me, you know, being miserable and shit. My meal plan is like awesome, guys. Like I can't wait to show you guys the next video. That's gonna be like a full day of eating. We're around 3000 calories. I'm not gonna give away too many details because obviously I gotta save it for next video. After summer shredding, maybe I'm gonna go on like an off season and then, you know, probably compete in like a real qualifying NPC show for men's physique. I feel like I could definitely do it. And now that I have a good coach, I feel like we could definitely, you know, have a healthy, good off season where I'm like not fat as shit. But for right now, we got a straight 15 weeks of just straight grinding. Plan is we're gonna grow into this next show. You know, I was crash dieted before. Dude, I lost muscle, dude. I lost hella... I, I just lost hella size from just what I was doing, dude. And it, it wasn't healthy for me at all. Mentally, physically, spiritually, too. Yeah, I feel like a genuine off-season where I do all this fun shit and, like, show you guys, you know, what I'm eating, you know, how I train. I do want to bring you guys, like, some crazy videos with my coach. If we did, like, a chest day with, like, Cam, dude, that would be awesome. I know you guys would love that shit. There's just so much stuff that I have planned for the future that I'm so excited to bring you guys now. Now that, like, everything's kind of just going good in my life like everything's kind of just like after these last just shit months since like march everything is kind of just like going going my way finally dude it's just cause like you know trust god trust yourself the light at the end of the tunnel will always come as long as you keep your faith in yourself and that's what i did and it's finally here guys so finally time for me to open up about this so why i ultimately decided to push back my show i don't even know where to start to be honest i want to keep this as respectful as possible and i don't want to burn any bridges that i don't need to burn because it's just not the type of person i am i started with my old coach early March and so from March to about the beginning of May I went through like a serious growing phase and I literally gained 20 pounds in six months those of you guys who know about gaining weight that's not healthy and it was physically the hardest part about prep like the last three to two to three weeks of my growing phase I would literally feel terrible every day my stomach would be bloated every set in the gym I would feel like the food coming up it just got to a point where like literally I was waking up every single day with my stomach out here still from the night before and just like my whole stomach lining got destroyed from that so that was the growing phase so i was about seven weeks out from my show all of my other friends when they were about six seven weeks out they were already dice like i was coming off a serious serious growing phase and i was bloated i was fat as fuck like i did not look how i should have six weeks out i stuck to the plan trusted my coach to about four weeks out i kind of realized like i was like yo like i should really be leaner by this time the first video i posted coming back to youtube i think i was about three weeks out ish and i should have been way leaner than i was like i seriously looked better coaching myself before ever getting a coach i was happier i was leaner i was healthier overall just everything was better when i was doing it myself and the main reason for me getting a coach was to further my knowledge and help better myself and learn more just about dieting and just like you know being overall just better but it really really hit me that you know I was kind of just given like another copy and paste plan and we really didn't have that connection that I was really looking for in a coach like I, I genuinely wanted somebody who was behind me and someone who cared about me and like saw like the social media stuff I was doing and you know just cared about my well-being so then three weeks hit when I posted that video and everything changed like cardio was about an hour I was under 2,000 calories but I was still doing well I mean I literally went full David Goggins mode for that last three weeks like I hood up head down right my shit out did everything i had to do but those last like that last two weeks dude like mentally i turned into a completely different person somebody who i really wasn't somebody who was very ugly someone who couldn't form sentences all the way couldn't think straight i would constantly be fighting with people just because of how on edge i was from just the the, the lack of food the lack of energy i would post like things on my snapchat that i would post like kind of like the meals i was eating and like the calories and like the amount of cardio and i had so many people telling me like yo who is your coach bro because like that's fuck i i just kind of ignored it because like i'm just i have 
have the mentality where it's like, I have to win no matter what. I have to push myself past everybody else. I have to work harder, I have to train harder, I have to eat harder, I have to sleep harder. And I, I just need to win. That's just how I was brought up. That's just how I think. You know, I was doing everything I had to do. It really just hit a point where, dude, I was going hypo. I was like, literally couldn't go up and down the stairs without feeling like I had a hundred pound weights tied to me. Like I wasn't me, I wasn't Cameron and I hadn't been Cameron since literally March, dude. And that's the main reason kind of why I did it. Another huge reason was like I said earlier, like I was literally able to coach myself. Like if we went back a year ago today, you know, I, I looked amazing. I was leaner or I was about the same leanest now, but like, let's say I was still on prep. I was leaner. I was fuller. I was just more vascular. I was just happier. I was just so mentally I was myself that I was myself and I was doing it all on my own and when that really settled in and I would look back and I'd be like holy shit bro like I used to look so good just doing this myself why do I really have a coach if I'm not better than that and doing like better mentally physically just everything better because I have a coach right and so when that hit me dude I was like fuck man I think I'm making the, making the wrong decision and also like another reason is because like me and my friends we had money in like Airbnb and just like the flights in general and also like you know I spent a lot of money on coaching too all that shit went in the drain and you know the friends that I have they understood they they, they understood that I chose me at the end of the day I, I truly had to choose myself I had to choose my well-being I had to choose me just in every single way bro like the amount of pressure that I, I felt from just letting you guys down and you know letting my friends down and, and just everybody it just you know that's what really kept me driven dude like I couldn't let people down and it just really hit a point where I, like mentally where I was just like fuck bro like my health is deteriorating like pretty fucking quick dude like i just i i genuinely had to make the, the the right decision you know after i made that decision and came out about it on social media like i literally felt like the weight some type of weight or pressure just get lifted off immediately and brought me instant peace bro like right now in my life i've never been more at peace and never been so happy dude like i feel like these past couple months i've just been like fucked bro like i haven't been myself and finally like i'm feeling like cameron again and, and it's just so i made the decision to push my show back to october restart prep i'm working with a different coach now obviously kill a cam yeah i'm just doing a lot better and now i have a coach who truly believes in me believes in you guys believes in everything everything that I'm doing dude like this this guy you know he's, he's looking out for me mentally physically in, in every single way and I have someone who I'm genuinely happy to have behind me and have in my corner now that I have somebody who truly is in my corner we are going to push for the October summer shredding and bring my absolute best dude like another thing that was also eating at me is because I knew I would step on stage it, let's say I stepped on stage I knew that in the back of my head I could be leaner I could be fuller I could be bigger I just couldn't step on stage and mentally not and physically not bring my best i know i would have done well it's just that i wanted to bring my absolute best dude like i want to step on stage knowing that i brought best fucking physique i could have possibly brought and not had any regrets and be 100 mentally happy and 100 like physically just insane that's not something i could have brought if i would have stepped on stage in a couple days i know that the people that truly support me like all you guys watching this you guys are, are happy for me you guys know i made the right the right call at the end of the day that i just i truly had to pick myself you just you know at the end of the day dude when something is physically and mentally just like kind of like a barricade or like pressure you need to always always have yourself because because if you don't have yourself, you don't have anything. But yeah, now I'm focused on just moving forward on this next prep and I'm extremely, extremely excited to bring you guys a fuck ton more content. But yeah, dude, I, I just like, my energy's up. Mentally, I'm just so much better, dude. Like I've never been this happy in a long, long time. And truly, couldn't have done it without your guys' support. Like, you guys, you know, it means the world. That's why I want to give back to you guys. This isn't sponsored by Alpha Line or anything. This is literally just because I, I love you guys and I want to give back. So, comment code ZA down below, like the video, and subscribe. Yeah, that's basically kind of why I put postponed my show, just because it was the right decision for me, for my family, the people around me, mentally. And I just had to have myself again, dude, before I, I really stepped on stage and locked the fuck in and brought the absolute best person and physique that i could possibly bring to the show because that's all i truly care about i don't want to go up there with regrets I, I will say though i did get pretty shredded pretty fast so that's the good part now that's been the video i hope you guys liked it and subscribe you know like comment all that stuff i'm gonna be responding to all my comments on youtube you know um just because you know you guys are special to me this is this is my favorite platform to post on even though it takes the most effort i fucking love doing it and it's really rewarding for me to see you know you guys fuck with these videos but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one hope you guys have a good one and peace.